So, there was a recent announcement from this company called Cognition Labs, a company that not that many people know about, and I didn't know. And this announcement is huge. This is just insane. So, they introduced a Devin, the first AI software engineer. And if it sounds for you like blah, 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 because we are so used to these headlines, oh, AI, blah, 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 this thing is actually huge. Let's have a look at this. And why you need to pay attention to this? Because if you're a developer, especially if you're a Salesforce developer, you need to pay attention that you by accident don't get automated by AI and those things. So you need to be on top of your game. Let's have a look at this thing. Devin is the new state of the art on the SV bench coding benchmark. Has successfully passed practical engineering interviews from leading AI companies and has completed real jobs on Upwork. Devin is autonomous agent that solves engineering tasks through the use of its own shell coding and web browser. So they claim that it has 13% here, which is kind of really, really awesome. But let's have a look at the demo. And this is, I think, this is really important to see it in action. Let's have a look at this. Hey, I'm Scott hey. Cognition AI. Welcome. Today I'm really excited to introduce you to Devin, the first AI software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. I'm gonna ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple of different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle. Look, even AI first makes a plan and you are still going and writing code immediately. No, you need to make a plan the same as, as this one. That's the really good approach to tackling any task that you get. Let's have a look. So plan is research the API documentation for replicate together in perplexity, to understand the request, to write a Python script, implement response time measurement. I mean, for me, it seems like pretty good high level plan in general, just very generic plan. Let's, let's see. Tackle the problem. After that, it builds the whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. Oh. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. Here, Devin runs into an unexpected error. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement, reruns the code with the debugging print statement, and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. It looks good. All of this is possible today because of the advancements that we've made in both reasoning and long-term planning. It's a really hard problem and we've only just started, but we're super excited about the progress that we've made so far. In the meantime, if you'd like to try out Devin on your own real world tasks, send us a request below and we'd be happy to forward it to Devin. Here are my thoughts. If you're a developer and your job can be automated by Devin now or in the next year too, you are approaching your career wrong way because that's not how a developer should be working. As a developer, you try as quick as possible to get more responsibility in your career if you want to advance in your career, of course. So if you're a developer who is just getting assigned a task and you just go and solve this task, you are getting automated by those AI things. Now, the thing is that it's rarely the job of a developer. If you work as a developer, you write code maybe 30% of the time. And sometimes it depends on which direction you want to go as a developer. Sometimes you even write like 10% of your time code. And the more senior you get, the less code you actually write and the more of kind of an architect you become. And I think that Devin is a good example of something that can make developers more efficient. Now, what do you need to do? Like, oh, you look at this thing and you're like, oh, what the hell is that? It's going to automate my job. Yes, if you don't upskill, if you don't invest in your education. Of course, this is how the world has worked all the time. You stop investing in your education, you're gone in five, 10 years. That's normal. So what do you need to do? You need to start investing not only time, but also money in your education. If you can shortcut your time, if you plan on, for example, you're an admin and admins, if you think that this thing is not coming for you, it can, it's coming for you. Look at the Einstein AI studio. It's coming for you as well. 
all those tasks, they will be a little bit automated in the next couple of years, and they will be fully automated in the next 10 years. I think it's going to be the case. So as an admin, you need quickly to upskill to the technical skills, because if developers getting like 10 times more efficient, you don't need admins anymore. You don't need anyone. You just need to speak to the business, understand approximately the requirements, and then just work with those AI agents to actually code the system and debug and go deep into those things if something doesn't work or doesn't work as you want, and then modify it. If you're a developer, you need to move through your career in the next three years. You need to do it quick. Don't hesitate. If you hesitate, in the age of AI, you will be gone in the next five or 10 years. So invest in your education, upskill, and subscribe to my newsletter because that's the way you get better. Thank you. See you.